Good day everyone, my name is Mahulan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am in a small town called Catherine in Northern Territory, Australia. There are few sports and competitions in Australia involving cattle and cowboys. Camp drafting is one of them and it is going to happen tonight in Catherine Showgrounds. I am going to the camp drafting tonight, film a video and present to you guys through this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my future videos. Now, let's see about the rules and regulations of the sports cam drafting and then we can go to the showgrounds and watch the game tonight. Cam drafting was first started in Queensland during 1800 between cattle stock owners and cowboys. At the early days, it was being played in some places in remote Australia only. After a few years, in 1885, it became a unique national sport in Australia. It was conducted between cowboys to find out who is talented among them in riding horses and controlling the cattle. At the end of each game, the winners are honored with rewards. This sport usually happens in a ground like the one you are looking at now. There will be four poles installed in the ground and a cowboy who participates in the game should select one of the cattle, chase that one and he should make that to come around the first two poles and through the third and fourth poles. The cowboy should do this within a time frame and if the cowboy did that, he is considered as the winner of that round. There will be some number of rounds in one game and depending on the points scored, the winner will be selected. Tonight, we are going to watch a sport like this and let's go and watch that guys. Hello Doug. Jamie. These two guys are coming with me for the cam draft tonight guys. Let's go. We are nearly at the place where the game is going to happen guys. There are a few food and drink stalls here in this place. When you look at this side, you can see there are people watching this game tonight. The showground is on that side guys. Let's go and have a look at that one now. This is where the game is going to happen guys. You can see the poles installed in the ground and few cowboys are practicing with their horses. Even though Catherine is a small remote town in Australia and not many people living here, I would say there is a considerable amount of people in tonight's game. The cowboys have finished their practice session and now you guys can clearly see the poles installed in this ground. Two on the front and the other two in the far. That is where all the audience are. And I am going to have a look at the cattle they brought here to participate in the competition tonight. You can see the fence panels here guys. The cattle are inside the fence panels. You can see few hay bales inside the fence panels to feed the cattle. On that side you can see the cattle inside the fences. Let's go near and have a look. The cattle are inside the fence panels and they have been separated into groups. When you have a closer look, you can notice that. It is because to use the new group of cattle in each round of the game. I would say the worth of one of the cattle here would be around 3 to 5 grams. In the 
Now they have opened the gates for the first round and cattle are moving forward. The gate has been closed now and one of the cattle went forward will be selected and chased by a cowboy. At the far, you can see a cowboy is chasing the cattle guys. He is the first competitor and he is trying to select his beast. Alright guys, he came into the grounds chasing his beast and made that to go around the first pole now. Good job mate. He came around the second pole too. Now he needs to get the beast through the last two poles. Bad luck, he couldn't take his beast through those poles. That's the end of the time guys. Now the second one guys. You can see the other cowboys are waiting just sitting on a fence panel right there. Look how much cattle here guys. These all belong to a cattle station and they breed them mostly for meat. Now he is trying to select his beast. I reckon he is going after the white one there. Alright, he got the wide one guys. He is chasing and trying to make that beast go around the first ball. The beast he selected is giving him some trouble. Anyway, he came around the first one successfully. Now the second one. But the beast is running long distances. I reckon he couldn't finish within the time guys. He came around the second one now. That's good. That's time guys. As I said before, he couldn't finish within the time. You guys would have heard the noise of the whips. The time limit to complete the course is 40 seconds and if a cowboy can't finish within that time, there will be a noise of whip indicating the time is finished. All right guys, now the third one. He came around the first oh, pole. It's a good one. It's a good one. Right now on. coming around the second one. Come on, Come on mate. Get a ramp. Get a ramp. There we go. Beautiful. Well done. He needs to get the beast come through the third and fourth now. Great, he's a champion guys. See, this is how it is done guys. Now let's see how this guy goes. So really it's, he's got a lively one. It's all about the horse. <laughs> First one done. Horses I know. <laughs> Good job, mate. Came around the second pole. <laughs> nope. He couldn't get through the last two poles, guys. Now, let's see this one, guys. The beast is out now. He came around the first one. Nope, he couldn't come around the second one, guys. He's not even trying. Anyway, it's okay, mate. 
There are not only cowboys here guys, there are cowgirls too. You can see few cowgirls riding across the ground now, they look stylish. Now the first round is finished guys. The cowboys and cowgirls are out here in the ground, checking the ground condition after the first round and practicing for the next round. Alright guys, now the preparation is going on to reward and give prizes for the ones who won in the first round. You can see the horses are getting honored here. The competition can't be won if the horse is not performing good even though the best cowboy or girl riding it. So the horses too own the glory and they should be rewarded too. Alright guys, now the second round is going to happen. You can see the cowboys and cowgirls are wearing the same kind of dress for this round and let's see the second round now. The first person is out in the ground guys. He came around the first pole now. Good job. Let's see the second pole. Oh, no, no, no. He couldn't come around the second pole, guys. Up the front we go. I reckon he is still chasing his beast inside. Now he came into the ground. Good one. He came around the first pole, guys. And this Captain Constructions open camera. Well done, mate. He came around the second pole, too. I feel like this beast is running slow, guys. Come on, mate. Get through the poles. Now, guys, he failed to come through the poles within the time. Now, you can see the third cowboy. His name is George. Came around the first one. Well done, mate. Second pole done. Wow, great. Fantastic work by George, guys. He came through the poles. Alright, guys, this is the last game tonight. Let's see how this one goes. Camera on the first pole. Good job, mate. Cleared the second pole. Beautiful. He came through the third and fourth poles, guys. You are a champion, mate.
Guys, these are the cattle used for the competition and now they are returning to their place. These are the winners in the second round guys. You can see they and their horses are receiving honor and rewards now. Congratulations guys. Alright guys, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another wonderful video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.